Good evening all, welcome back. It's, uh, what's the time? Oh, 10 o'clock. I've been, wa I've actually wasted an hour. I was going to say I've been wasting, I'll show you my mind too, I've wasted. Uh, an hour looking for a patch lead to go from the CD player to the NADM. So I'm going to show you what it sounds like. Now, number one, let me point out what speakers I'm using. I'm not using the Denons, because the Denons are connected to the What's that doing there? The Cyrus. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I've run out of room. That's why, as usual. So it's connected to the Cyrus. Now, I found these speakers, these JVC speakers, thrown away. Someone threw them away. They're only tiny. I think the woofer, let's see. It must be, I could measure it. I can't. I've got the phone in my hand. That must be what? Uh, let's see. One inch, two, maybe four, five inch max, if that. No, it's not even five, it's about four inch woofers. And someone threw them out and they got a bit wet. Can you see the um, the veneer on it? It's all warped. But I open them up and you've got to get, you've got to open up the, you've got to take this off first of all, that surround. Then you get in from there, from the woofer, take it out and then you can rewire it. Don't try to take them off from the back because you never do it because there's nothing to access at the back. It's all uh, glued up. But someone threw these away. And I think they come from a little MIDI center, little MIDI music center or mini, whatever it's called. And uh, so anyway, I put some new cabling on it and I didn't put anything expensive. I, I used some really cheap shit cable, <laughs> seriously cheap shit, because I thought I'm only going to use these ever for testing. So I've got these connected up now. I mean, look how thin the wires are. Look at that. That's connected to the back of the NAD. Look how thin. I don't even know if they're copper, I doubt it. They're probably aluminium. These cheap cables are probably just, whoops, and then knock something over. Oh, Christ, too much shit here, hang on. Probably aluminium, aluminium, oh, I don't know. They're, they're shit, aren't they, really? Uh, look how thin they are, look. That's my finger there, like that. Nothing to them. But, surprisingly, <laughs> I don't know if it's the amp, but wait, it must be the amp. It sounds great. And also, it's got the, um, splitter at the back you've got the preamp and the main amp you can separate on this and look at that the original links were missing the little um u-shaped metal straps they're missing and someone just put look what someone done i didn't do that but someone put a complete lead now the way i look at it if you put a complete lead at the back what's that going to introduce what's it going to introduce yeah two things well one thing really interference and noise it's going to pick up rf signals and shit which you don't need so my mate benji's got the right wire at home uh he's using um you know the earth from those uh main from the mains cable the thick ones used for um going around the house a ring name so he's going to make up two little links for me uh so i'm, I'm okay i suppose but i haven't got the right wire anyway so he said he'd make them up for me but that big lead all coiled up oh it's a patch lead all coiled up what it's a joke you can't use that but surprisingly it still sounds pretty good and i've got one over here there's my oscilloscopes there there we go uh got them covered up you know when you're cooking and that the one i'm getting all greasy and shit so i'm saying that a lot tonight and shit <laughs> it's american saying though, isn't it yeah like, yeah get it all dirty and shit <laughs> so there's the other one so there we go so on top of the other denon all right on top of the denon so as I said, I'm using not the Denons, these little JVC speakers. That's all. And they're tiny. I mean, I'm going to measure them afterwards. How yeah, big they are. That's got to be what? Hang on. I've got a tape measure there. Hang on a minute. Oh, sorry about the picture. I'm all over the shop at the moment. Oh, why is it coiling in like that? Oh, God. Three inches. Jesus. They're only three inches put on the floor. Three inches, three inch woofers. That's nothing. Right. Okay, so come on in, Harvey. Put the bloody CD on. Stop bloody talking a load of shit. Well, I'm not. I'm just letting you know what I'm using. Right, shit wiring and tiny little three inch woofer speakers, little JVCs. That's it. Right, let's play. Let's put this up a little bit. Oh, it's the time. It's getting late now. The neighbours are going nuts. And um, I'm not in there... Uh, favorite neighbor section at the moment but there we go let's put it up to here that's only up to about there right i'm playing money 
I'm only going to play one track because as I said it's late. Oh yeah, also I'm using a very, very long patch lead to go from there to the amp. It's really long and look, that's how long it is. I wanted a shorter one. I've got it somewhere. Can I find it? No. I wasted one hour. Never mind. Right, let's play it. Okay, ready. Wow. First time I played it actually. Sounds quite good. What the hell? You're kidding me. Oh Jesus. You can hear it here. Wow. Good God. I can't believe how good this sounds. I'll turn it down a bit. Too low, Harvey. Too low. I'm worried about the speakers blowing up. Seriously. It's so, so tiny. What the hell? I don't know where to put it, actually. Put it down there. Woofers pounding out quite a bit, but I suppose it's normal. Bloody hell. Can't believe they're good. Right, I'll shut up now. I've got to say, right, hang on. Let me stop it a minute. All right, I forgot to say, I've actually turned the, um, sorry about the wobbling there, but as I said, I'm using a bloody phone. I had a treble on here, okay? And I've got the ba a bass about there. That's why, maybe that's why it sounded good. I don't know. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna press in the tone defeat. So to hear the difference between adding a bit of bass and a bit of treble and then turning the tone off completely. Right, let's carry on. Right. Not much difference. Turn off. Turn off. 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 I don't know. It sounds good either way. Ah, stop clipping. What does that do? Shall I leave it on or off? I don't know. I'll have to read up on it and I'll stop clipping. Hang on. I'm not sure what it does. 
있어요. 
right, there we go. You know what, my ears are ringing, I'm not kidding. Wow, well I'll tell you what, I'm definitely gonna fix this amp properly now. I'm gonna take the front off and uh, I was told by someone on uh, my comments on the last video to glue it from the inside with super glue and uh, bicarbonate soda. Very good idea. So I'm gonna fix this properly now because that's giving me incentive. I mean, for this amp to sound as it does, with those little speakers there and those little woofers and that cheap, probably aluminium speaker cable. You know what I really want to do now is take these uh, speakers apart again and put some terminals on the back <laughs> and put some decent cable on it. Mm, what shall I do? Leave it or what? I mean, it sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, I'm only going to use this for testing, all right? It's not going to be a like permanent, it's not my permanent hi fi system. I'll have to show you that one day when I clear all the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, my Celestian Disson 44 studio monitors, which I've had since 1975, bought in brand new in the hi-fi shop I was working. Uh, I'll just show you my, oh, my Dex, hang on a minute, my Technics SL110 is actually on this channel with my SME arm and all that. Have a look at that, check out the video, it's brilliant, and that sounds incredible. And they had a shitty phone then, this one's a lot better, this is an iPhone 11 Max Plus. And it's in stereo as well, so it's great. Um, oh, what's that? Let's turn that off. Hang on, it's trying to play again, isn't it? What a great little CD player that is. It's actually a, a DVD, DVD player, but obviously it plays CDs just as good. If it can track a DVD, it's going to track a CD much easier. But um, I bought its Akai machine years ago. I'll have to show you that. It's, somewhere it's not a 4000 ds it's one of the um later ones the um uh free motor drive ones auto reverse i'll have to dig it out and show you but when i bought it i was offered this uh, to go with it and i said uh how much do you want for it I said oh i don't know uh, 20 quid or something like that. it's like 20 or 30 quid i pay for it it's brilliant i've got a carry case mains adapter car adapter everything so i thought i think it was even 20 quid I think it was about 20 quid. I thought, yeah, I'll have it. Or is it 15? I can't remember now, seriously. But um, it's great for, um, you know, demonstrating all the gear, the reel-to-reels and amplifiers. I've got to show you this one soon. So it's easy to take the wires off. Just take them off there and bang it on here. Special plugs for this as well, actually. I've got them somewhere. Where are they? I've got to find my shorter lead as well. I can't keep using that long lead because the longer leads you've got, the more it reduces noise. But... I wasn't aware of any noise on that. Only ringing in my ears from the bloody brilliant sound of this thing. Good God. How can people do a thing like that? Like a sacrilege. That is sacrilege. You don't do that to good hi-fi gear. No. Don't do it. You don't do it. But anyway, let me upload this before it gets too long. Because it's 18 minutes long so far. And uh, my my um, internet is not fibre to f like fibre all round. No, what's the name for call it uh fiber all the way to the home we call it full fiber where it's called yeah i've got a copper wire going to the box the green box they use and it's fiber for the other four or five miles where it is i don't know but there we go let me turn it off now it makes a bit of a hum can, i don't know if you can hear it but it's got a massive transformer it has i don't know if you can hear that i don't know it's got a massive transformer in it look i'll turn it off now there we go, power light, it's going off. Turn this off as well. I'll turn it off. Press and hold, I think. There we go. That's on charge. Oh, it's rechargeable as well. Say that again, it's rechargeable as well, which is excellent. There you go. Yeah, I think I paid 15 quid extra. I said, all right, I'll have that. So I took home the reel to reel in that. Um, there we go. Right, so, I'm, <laughs> shit, I'm impressed. I'm impressed big time. This is one good amp. I'm not kidding, NAD. It's a bloody good amp. And this model, as I said, it's got 30, it's 35 watts per channel, but the peak power on this is something like 120 watts or 160, something like that. You have a look it up, check the specs on this. But the, um, as I said, the reserve RMS power, actually RMS, you know what it means, don't you? It means root mean square, if you didn't know already. But there we go. Yeah, RMS is always a true power of an amplifier. You get a lot of these cheap Chinese amps, which I was using for years, just in here for my singing. 
and it did say 100 watts per channel really really <laughs> they're talking about peak power you know so just ignore what you see on those cheap amps you know, you know don't take it for gospel oh god i've got a um what's the one i saw lately uh a thousand a thousand watts or something stupid i thought get out of it get out of it get the f out of here i thought <laughs> but there we go yeah so bloody hell this amp's good damn no wonder that they were expensive good god anyway so there we go you've heard it and as i said i've only used i'm only using these little jvc bloody tiny little speakers someone threw away why don't people try them out first why do they just chuck things away i mean look, you can see it's been kept in the in the in the rain look at that luckily luckily the the oh, i can't speak it's too, too late now the cones are okay they're all rubber surrounds as well. They're not foam, which is great. I can't stand foam surround speakers. You know what happens after a while? Yep, you've got it. They just turn to dust. But look at that. This one's the worst. All the veneer coming off. Oh, God. The other one fared up quite good, actually. It must have missed the rain. See, this one's the better one. Much better. Oh, see? Nothing on it. No, uh... Oh, a little bit there. But as I say, yeah, the other one got, really got the raw deal of the uh, situation. Look at that. But they work and they sound good. And as I said, they're only for testing, so what the hell. Right, let me upload this. This is going to take about half an hour. God, 21 minutes. I'm going to time it, actually. 22 minutes long. All right, then, folks. Oops. Oh, shit. What have I done? I've just done something to the screen. I hope that hasn't affected the video now. Alright then folks, I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.